Ladies and gentlemen, it will be recorded that in November 2016, the Kenya Film Classification Board commissioned a survey on the effects of lewd, vulgar, violent, and obscene music content on children, the youth, and the community in general. In this survey, the Kamba community, sad to say that's my community, topped the list of the most foul, obscene, and unpalatable vernacular music in the country. Other communities that were reflected as having obscene vernacular music were the Kikuyu, Luos, Meru, and Luya communities. However, it is most disturbing that is the Kamba community, where the CEO comes from, that topped as having the most obscene with such strange names as Katombi, Maima, Vusia Ungu, and such other obscenities that cannot be pronounced in mixed company. In fact, it was identified that there was a push by the local bands or the Kamba bands to adopt obscene stage names like the ones I've mentioned that are inappropriate, unpalatable, and unsuitable for uh, family interaction. From the survey, it reminds that most of the Kamba musicians had resorted to using offensive lyrics and indecent monikers in a bid to create controversy, generate viewership, and drive traffic for their content. The misleading narrative has been that content has to be dirty or has to have sexual innuendo in order to sell. In a bid to reverse this wave of dirty music that contributed greatly or has contributed greatly to the wave of moral decadence in Kenya, the board has in the past one year rolled out a countrywide campaign, dumped, clean is cool, and you are what you consume. The aim of this campaign has primarily been to sensitize the public on the need for the creation and consumption of clean content, as well as encourage our musicians and artists in general to embrace mature, inspiring, and educative messages in their music and public performances. And then we have some of the best Kamba dancers you have ever seen, you know, in the city. Some of the, you know, uh, you, are, you are quintessential slay queen, but clean in the, in the nature of the award that we are giving today. And yet, the beauty of what they do is they execute, they execute and exude our culture with confidence without making it dirty. The, norm, the normal way is to gyrate, to see people gyrating in uh, public places, or women scantily dressed, you know, without anything, and gyrating against men. If you watch the videos by Bisengo, these ladies will dance, and they perform in the Kamba tradition and Kamba culture. Do it in a clean way, in a way that they can perform even in a church. Bisengo's music, one of them, Evinda Nijito, uh, which is about romance and love and perseverance, uh, in marriage and in relationships between a man and a woman or a family promotes the ideals that we stand for as a board. The ideals about family, about hard work, about perseverance. And in fact, it debunks the myth of the songs that we have been burning that promote violence against women by men who have been tutored by women. So that if you are tutored, either you persevere, you talk nicely, you go back and up your game as a man, but you don't hurt women because they have rejected you. They have done it in a way that makes anyone want to watch that music. And more importantly, they have gone beyond their call to ensure that when they are doing it, they are also embracing modernity, new digital media. And if you look at some of the campaigns, and there's a song that Bisengu has done titled What's Up? which campaigns against online addiction, which is a serious vice and a serious challenge among the youth today. Thank you very much. Any question? I think I made it abundantly clear, as they say. Yes, sir. Uh -huh.